Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, and we're back with another Star Wars review. This time, we're going to take a look at the 3 and 3 quarter inch figure for Bodhi Rook. Now, it's weird since, at least as of this recording, this is the only figure of Bodhi Rook, at least by Hasbro, in the main line for Star Wars Rogue One. There is no current version of the 3 and 3 quarter inch black series, and unfortunately, there's no 6-inch of this character either. The only other figure, at least what I could tell, that are released in an official line between Disney or Hasbro is the Disney Elite version, which is obviously in more of a 7-inch scale rather than the sorry, rather than the 6-inch scale. So it is weird that we've yet to see this character in the 6-inch black series. But anyway, so now move on to the box first. Here's a pretty good look of Bodhi Rook there. And the back has the standard bio, it's normal, and so on and so forth. Well, now take a look at the figure more closely. Articulation-wise, it's the exact same thing we see with the other three and three quarters figures. The head is on a ball joint, with a good range of movement, with no hindrance, even with the little flaps on. He does include the same, sorry, swivels at the shoulders, and swivels at the hips. He also includes this pretty cool looking blaster, which is a little different than what we see with the standard characters. And it's actually a little bigger than some of the other blasters, since a lot of the three and three quarter inch figures so far had the smaller style pistols, while he actually has a full on blaster. As you can see, the set also includes this backpack piece, and unlike other Expanded Universe kind of weapons, this one makes complete sense, since this kind of looks like the little backpack device that he used for the actual communication in the film, so that's pretty cool. It also features this grappling hook, which I guess works for what it needs to do. There isn't a whole lot going on with the actual thing itself, but it's cool since it actually has an ability to wind it up. So I think that's actually a pretty cool thing that they actually included the wind up ability and the fact that this is actually a pretty appropriate kind of weapon. So that pretty much covers up the actual figure release for the three and three quarter inch Bodhi Rook. And now we're going to take a look at this figure next to the other main members of Rogue One since I finally was able to get the entire team in the three and three quarter inch scale. And with this, the entire main team of Rogue One is finally together. It's really nice to see the main characters be released in the 3 3 quarter inch scale, at least in one particular line, since the unfortunately the 3 3 quarter inch Black Series has yet to make a K2SO, but it's okay because this is a pretty decent figure, a Baze Malibus, and unfortunately no Chirrut as well. So I guess it also comes down to the fact that this is still a pretty good release, even though they don't have the most articulation. I think they still look really nice together, and if you just want something to go on your shelf in display, I think this works out pretty decently, especially since Bodhi has a weapon that's actually accurate to what the character actually could use in the film. So, I highly recommend picking up Bodhi Rogue if you're a fan of the character, or just want to get the entire team of Rogue One, since Unfortunately, we still yet to see it in the 6-inch scale, but hopefully we'll be able to see the last bit of the characters be released in 6-inch scale in the near future. I got these at BBTS along with the other figures, and that's probably your best bet to probably check online retailers to get a hold of the set, since, at least for my area still, I've yet to really see them in stores. Anyways, please come and subscribe and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check my Twitter under DarkCon633, and don't forget to check down the other channels listed down below. Also, please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible. And I'll be back with more Star Wars reviews and more, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.